Paige Beckers battled through several unlucky incidents to set historic records and sign groundbreaking deals, making her one of the most valuable college athletes on the planet. Number 7. Paige Beckers Early Life She could have gone pro in multiple sports. Born in Adena, Minnesota, Paige had a wide variety of sports interests. Her father, Bob, was a software engineer and played point guard in high school. So basketball was always a part of the Beckers household. Her mother, Amy Fuller, represented the University of St. Thomas in cross country and track and field. When Paige was three years old, her parents did get divorced. She remained with her father while her mother remarried and moved to Billings, Montana. Her father also began a new relationship and later had a son, Drew. She has another younger brother, Ryan, and a younger sister, Lauren. Growing up, sports were everything to Paige. She played Little League Baseball as a catcher as well as football and soccer. But no matter what she did, she found herself naturally gravitating toward basketball. And by first grade, she had fully committed to ball. Her obsession ran so deep that her coaches had to bribe her in a unique way to leave the hardwood. Number 6. Basketball Obsession A growth spurt changed her life. Paige's dad put her into several different sports, but it was clear that only basketball was her passion. In fact, her obsession was basketball ran so deep that her track coach had to promise to buy her ice cream after meets because that was the only way that Paige would leave the hardwood for a full day. She started playing basketball at age five, and at first she was coached by her father in basketball until seventh grade. She drew inspiration from NBA players like LeBron James and Kyrie Irving and WNBA legends like Diana Taurasi and Sue Bird. It was apparent that she was ahead of the rest of her age group in terms of talent from an early age. As a seventh grader, she played on the freshman and junior varsity teams for her eventual high school, Hopkins High, in Minnetonka, Minnesota, often going against 10th and 11th graders. But one thing that helped Paige was that she grew four inches in the year before her eighth grade season. It would be in high school that she began to do some historic things. Number five, basketball journey. Soon she would be regarded as one of the, if not the, best girls high school basketball players of all time. Paige made her freshman season debut for Hopkins High School on November 25th, 2016, recording 28 points, five steals, and four assists. And this would just foreshadow the coming years. As a freshman, she averaged 20.8 points, 4.5 rebounds, 4.5 steals, and 4.1 assists per game, earning all Metro first team honors. She led Hopkins to a 31-1 record, its only loss coming against Elk River High School at the Class 4A state championship. Now that wouldn't be the only state championship loss on her resume. Next year, she helped Hopkins to a 28-4 record, but suffered her third straight loss at the Class 4A state title game, despite leading all scores with 37 points. Still, she would be recognized as Minnesota Gatorade Player of the Year for athletic excellence, academic achievement, and exemplary character. She finally got over the state championship hump the following year as she recorded 13 points, 7 assists, 5 rebounds, and 5 steals as her team won the Class 4A state championship. She battled through a heavy sickness during the game, making this her flu game special. Hopkins finished the season with a 32-0 record. And that wouldn't be the last perfect season. During her senior season, she became the first female high school player to be featured on the cover of the basketball magazine, Slam. She was selected to play at the McDonald's All-American Game and the Jordan Brand Classic, two prestigious high school all-star games, but both were canceled due to the pandemic. Still, she averaged 21.4 points, 9.4 assists, 5.4 steals, and 5 rebounds per game, and led Hopkins to another undefeated season and 62 consecutive wins. She finished as Hopkins' all-time leader in points, assists, and steals. Although she was already reaching a legendary status, what she did next made her a worldwide phenomenon. Number 4. College Highlights Coming in hot, college would quickly test her grit and perseverance. It's not surprising that Paige had many suitors, but there was one team in particular that caught her eye. On November 13th, 2020, she signed a national letter of intent with UConn. Her first season could not have gone any better. 
Paige lived up to the hype that surrounded her as she led the Huskies in scoring and set the program's record for the most assists in a season by a freshman with 168. She led UConn to a 28-2 record, including the program's 13th consecutive trip to the Final Four. Her strong freshman season led her to becoming the first freshman to ever win the Naismith College Player of the Year award, and she also became the second Big East player to ever win the Conferences Player of the Year and Freshman of the Year awards in the same season, joining former Husky Maya Moore, who accomplished the feat in 2008. After that, difficulties started to pile up. Prior to her sophomore season, she had to get ankle surgery. Although she returned looking better than ever, on December 5th, Paige injured her left knee while dribbling the ball up to court with 40 seconds remaining in the game. Less than two weeks later, she underwent surgery to repair the fracture and a previous undisclosed lateral meniscus tear. Despite these major setbacks, she returned for the NCAA tournament and helped lead her squad to the championship game where she ultimately came up short. However, she couldn't capitalize on this amazing momentum as she tore her ACL during a pickup game in the offseason. This led to her missing an entire year of action. Again, she showed her grit and determination. After redshirting, she returned for her junior year and tied Maya Moore as the fastest player in UConn history to reach 1,000 career points. At the end of the regular season, Beckers was named a Big East Player of the Year with a unanimous first-team all-conference selection. Although her play on the court has been incredible, what she is doing in the business world is nothing short of groundbreaking. Number 3. NIL Deal she is projected to be one of the highest earning potentials from NIL among college athletes. On April 4th, 2022, her Instagram account reached 1 million followers, making her reportedly the first women's college basketball player to achieve the mark. In November of 2021, she signed her first two major endorsement deals with StockX and Gatorade. She said her relationship with the company began in 2020 when she won the Gatorade Player of the Year during her senior year of high school. While Gatorade has partnered with some of the biggest professional stars in sports, she was the first college athlete to partner with the company. She also makes sure to give back to those in need. On February 7, 2022, she announced a partnership with Cash App, through which she launched the Paige Beckers Foundation, aimed at promoting social justice and creating opportunities for families and children. On March 31st, Paige became the first student athlete brand ambassador for Chegg. Working with the nonprofit branch of Chegg, she partnered with hunger relief company Gooder to host a free pop up grocery market in Minneapolis to address food insecurity among college students. One of her biggest deals came on September 6, 2023, when she signed a multi year deal with Nike. She has also had deals with Crocs, Bose, and Nerf. One of her nicknames is Paige Buckets, which she trademarked on July 13th, 2021. That means you can rock athletic apparel such as shirts, pants, jackets, footwear, hats, and uniforms with the Paige Buckets moniker. Her continued success might depend on a key habit that she picked up off the court. Number 2. Off the Court In order to take her game to the next level, she had to give up a few things that she loved. It is no mystery that Paige has had her fair share of injuries. But instead of feeling sorry for herself, she took the necessary steps to prevent any further injuries. This included picking up the habit of regularly doing Pilates. Oftentimes, she will attend virtual Pilates sessions where she'll perform exercises like stomach and sidekick series, plank work, and one-leg standing exercises. She has made a ton of progress in just a year. Pilates is the hardest form of workout that I do. Harder than lifting, harder than rehab, harder than on court, harder than cardio. The old Paige would never have believed that she would be doing Pilates four or five times a week and looking forward to it. That was before her August 2022 ACL tear, her second major left knee injury in eight months. Now that does make sense as Paige is a business herself, which is clear to see by her incredible net worth. Number 1. Her Net Worth Despite not being in the WNBA, Paige has earned incredibly well throughout her basketball abilities. Lucrative net worths are a result of a mix of contracts, endorsements, and businesses. So far, Paige has some of the biggest companies and sponsors backing her. Soon enough, she will sign a lucrative deal with the WNBA, which will only boost her endorsements. 
For now, her net worth is likely to be around the $1.5 million mark. She can earn even more though as she continues her groundbreaking play and eventually sets the WNBA world on fire.